If you have ever struggled to stick to a budget or to create one in the first place, then this is the video for you. I could not stick to a budget for the life of me until I discovered cash envelopes. This method of budgeting is easy, it's fun, and it is not restrictive. In this video, I'm going to walk you through step-by-step -step how to get started with cash envelopes budgeting. Let's get into it. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I am so thrilled for today's video because we are going to be talking about a topic that I am so passionate about and that is cash envelopes. In today's video, we are going to be covering all of the basics of cash envelopes. I really want this to be a simple yet comprehensive guide for anyone looking to get started with this method of budgeting. I'm also going to be telling you about my story and sharing with you guys a sample budget so you can get started right away. If you enjoy this video, I would love for you to check out my other videos. I have so many videos about budgeting as well as lifestyle here on my channel. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel it would simply mean the world to me and whether or not you're new please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it because it really supports my channel so my name is Zoe I am 27 I live in Montreal and I've been doing cash envelopes budgeting for a whole year now which is so exciting to me it is a very big accomplishment and this method of budgeting is not even being dramatic something that has had such a positive impact on my life and I can honestly say it has changed my life for the better so we're gonna get into all of that in today's video I wanted to start out by talking about what are cash envelopes and who are they for so these are my cash envelopes they are so beautiful and we will talk about my toolkit in a moment but cash envelopes or cash budgeting is a method of budgeting where you allocate a budget an amount to every single category that matters to you then you take out cash in the corresponding amount put them into their own unique and specific envelopes. And throughout the month, this is the budget that you follow. You try your best to only spend cash, to only spend from the specific envelope. For example, if you're going to the grocery store, you're gonna use your groceries envelope. And the idea with the cash envelopes is that once you run out of money in an envelope, you're done, no more groceries for the month. Now, of course, in today's modern world, we have our credit cards, we have our debit cards, there are other ways to get around using cash, but the idea is that you be strong and stick to it. You can also pass money between the envelopes, but ideally you're sticking to the number that you put into the envelope. Now it might sound a little bit confusing, but trust me, you guys, it is so simple. And not only that, it is really, really fun. To me, this has become like a passion of mine. And honestly, I would consider it a hobby when budgeting used to be something that would literally bring me to tears. So that's a little bit about cash envelopes. Now, who is this method right for? Who are cash envelopes for? I genuinely believe that cash envelopes can be for anyone and everyone, regardless of the life stage that you're in, regardless of your gender. I feel like we mostly see women online doing cash envelopes, but it's not just for girls. <laughs> this method would be perfect if you are a student because it can really help you control your spending, learn more about budgeting and get a hand in all of the categories in your life, but it's also perfect for recent graduates who are just starting to manage a salary. It's perfect for young professionals. It's perfect for older professionals. I think it's so cool for people with children to manage their family's budget with cash. Like this method is literally for everyone. So no matter who you are, no matter where you are watching this, as long as cash exists in your country, you can follow this method and I know you will love it. All of my friends, all of my viewers, everyone who has tried this method has come back to me with such high praise saying that it has literally changed their life and that is what happened to me. So let's get into my story, shall we? Okay, we're gonna do this just in a very quick nutshell because I could go on and on, but basically I was someone who had no control over my spending. I would spend emotionally, I would spend very impulsively, I would spend without thinking, and then I would feel very very guilty afterwards at the time when I started my budgeting journey I was working as a management consultant and making a great salary for a young person but living paycheck to paycheck while also trying to pay off my debt I had a really like inflated lifestyle I was always shopping I was always ordering uber eats I was ubering everywhere before the pandemic 
going out for drinks, just spending money like a fiend. During the pandemic, I started to enter the world of personal finances, try to work on a budget, but every time I tried to control my spending, I would get scared, I would feel so restricted, I would like go over budget, and then I would feel really bad about myself and just want to give up. I literally have this whole journey documented on YouTube through my monthly money series, but you guys would see, and if you go back and watch those videos, you can see how every month I was overspending, struggling, feeling guilty, and I was just really in this vicious circle. It wasn't until a subscriber reached out to me saying, hey, I own this stationery company. We make products for this method of budgeting called cash envelopes. I really think it would suit you. Can I send you some envelopes? And literally, you guys, that email changed my life because I was like, sure, let's try it. In October of 2022, I sat down and tried out my first month of cash budgeting and I have never looked back. I will link that video down below if you guys want to watch it. You can see how I got started with this method. It is so cool to be sitting here a year later and I have used this method every single month ever since. I have had a new confidence and passion for budgeting that I never had before. I feel way less anxious and way less guilty and it's just a beautiful feeling life-changing truly so that is my story i really believe that if i who could never stick to any other budget can stick to this method then you can do it too so let's talk about my toolkit because i really think that your tools are what are going to empower you and be a major factor in your journey to success with the cash envelopes I actually first learned about this method when I was in university and what I was seeing was people using like those paper envelopes like from Staples or Office Depot or whatever and like writing on them and having all their cash in there and I was like I don't want to carry a bunch of paper envelopes around. I didn't know that there was this whole aesthetic side to cash budgeting and I'm someone who is pretty motivated by aesthetics and likes my wallet to look nice and stuff like that. So seeing these beautiful cash envelopes was definitely an influencer for me and a game changer in wanting to get started. So my entire toolkit comes from the line, which is that stationery company that reached out to me over a year ago and they are the sponsor for today's video. We have been working together on like a friendly and then a business basis ever since she initially reached out and I just love this company so much. The line is a small business based out of Vancouver, so we love supporting them here on my channel. Plus they make the best, most beautiful products, which obviously is so important. So the first tool in our toolkit are the envelopes and these are actually custom cash envelopes. So you get to customize and decide what they say. How you're gonna know what you wanna put on them, we will talk about in the next step. So here we have an envelope that says coffee. We have Maggie, this is for my dog. We have personal care, home. Every single category in my budget, I ordered a custom envelope from the line. So this is where you store your cash. This is where you carry around with you everywhere. And it's just so nice that it looks good because I personally find that very empowering. I wouldn't feel very confident if I rolled up to the checkout at the grocery store with this like ripped up paper envelope, but I do feel really cool. And I actually get a lot of compliments on these envelopes just while I'm out and about. People will say, oh my gosh, you look so organized. What is that? That is so cool. So these I love. Next is you need something to carry them in. This here is the vegan folio, which is what I got started with. It's a vegan leather and it is super affordable. You basically just clip all of your envelopes into this folio like this. And then this becomes the wallet that you carry around. So again, it's really nice that it looks good. Since starting, I have upgraded to this leather folio. This is a little bit more pricey. I would recommend starting with the vegan one. Then once you've stuck to the method for a couple of months, you can treat yourself and upgrade to the leather folio. My favorite part about this is that it is customized. So you can get this custom embossed with your initials. And this just feels so luxurious to carry around. The best part about the line is that their prices are very affordable. We are on our budgeting journey. We are not going to fork out hundreds and hundreds of dollars just to get started. But I do highly recommend investing in a little starter kit because it is going to motivate you to stick to this method. And I promise you in the first month, you're gonna save more money than you even spent on the kit. So that's the kit, highly recommend it. We love the line, they ship worldwide and I have a special discount code for you guys so you can save even more money. It's just Zoe10, I'll have it on the screen and linked down below. So thank you so much to the line for sponsoring this video and thank you for reaching out one year ago and 
literally changing my life with this method. Now let's go step by step of how you can get started with this method. Step one is to determine your categories. This is where I want you to sit down and reflect for five minutes. It's not gonna take very long. Think about all the areas in your life in which you spend. There are going to be some that are common to everyone, things like dining out, things like groceries, and then there are things that are going to be specific to you. Maybe you want an envelope for each of your children. Maybe you want an envelope for each of your pets. Maybe you're like me and you wanna have a separate coffee envelope because you love going out for coffee. You might wanna have a treat yourself envelope. In a few minutes, I'm gonna show you a sample budget that you can take inspiration from, but I recommend looking through your credit card statement, looking through your bank statements, just thinking about the areas in which which you spend. There are two things that I really want to mention here. One is you're not going to grab them all in your first month. I kept ordering cash envelopes for about the first three to four months since starting this method because new categories would pop up. I was like, oh yeah, I like to spend on this. Oh yeah, I spend on that. And I would order more as I went. That's normal. Don't worry about that. Progress over perfection. The next thing I want you guys to think about is not to worry about what other people will say. I've been criticized in the past for having a separate coffee envelope from dining out because technically they could go together. But hey, guess what? It's my budget and I can make whatever categories I want. If you have a hobby, like if you love to play soccer or if you like knitting, you can have a special envelope for your hobby that you can use to budget for and save up for. It's amazing. So have fun, get creative with your categories and know that over time, these categories may change. Two categories that I highly recommend adding to your budget are a spent on credit envelope and a savings envelope. You will see as you go throughout your cash envelopes journey, you might not spend all the money that's in your budget. Amazing, win. I love having the savings envelope to put money aside into so that I can build a little savings fund in cash. You will be surprised at how quickly this can add up. I saved up something like $800 in cash that I used to buy a luxury purse. It's crazy. Then you have your spend on credit envelope. In today's world, there are places that don't accept cash. There's gonna be times when you buy something online and you pay with your credit card. You might forget your cash envelopes at home. So what I like to do is have this envelope. Let's say I spend $20 on Amazon ordering something for my home. I will go into my home envelope, take out the $20 and stick it in here so that I don't get confused with what's left in my budget and it helps me stick to it. At the end of the month, I can put this into the ATM and then put it straight onto my credit card, which just helps me stick to my budget. So these are two envelopes I highly recommend adding in. And the rest of course is going to be completely up to you. It's also going to be up to you how much of your budget you want to use cash for. There are some people out there, and I'm sure you've maybe seen videos of some people doing their entire budget, including their rent or their mortgage, their gas, their water payments, everything in cash. I don't like to do that because straight up, I just don't find it convenient. I'm not going to put my Netflix bill, for example, on cash when that Netflix bill comes off my credit card. So it just doesn't make sense for me to budget for that in cash. Things like my rent, things like gas even, it's so much more convenient to just tap my card at the gas station than having to like go in and talk to the person working there. So I only do my, what I call day-to-day -day purchases in cash. And that's just what works for me. All right, we have made it to step three, which is to determine your budget. Now, I think this is where a lot of people, including myself, get scared. And a lot of the times we have like a kind of a fear or a tendency to lean towards perfection when it comes to our budget. And we're like, okay, unless I know the perfect budget amounts, I don't even wanna start. Or people will say, oh, I'm gonna start in January. It's like, no, start right now, progress over perfection, make up a budget if it doesn't work, readjust next month. That's what I did. I literally pulled numbers like out of thin air from my first cash envelopes budget. It's evolved over time, but it's still very close to that starting amount. And that's okay. Seriously, you guys, if you take one thing away from this video, let it be to just start. There is never gonna be the perfect moment. There is never gonna be the perfect budget. You will make mistakes, so just start and you will see your life will change very, very quickly. I would say there are two ways to design your budget. The first way we could call it actual, and the second way we could call it wishful. The actual method would involve reviewing your spending, seeing what you typically spend in a month, where you typically spend in those categories and how much, 
and then building your budget accordingly. So if you review your credit card statement and you see, okay, I always spend $500 on groceries, I'm comfortable with that amount, you can set your cash budget to $500 for groceries. The wishful method would be, hmm, I'd like to spend about $500 for groceries, so I'm gonna set that as my budget. I'm not sure how much I normally spend. Maybe I'm someone who always goes over, who always feels like I'm spending so much money on groceries, but 500 is a number I'd be comfortable with. Let's try 500 and then you go from there. That's what I did. It worked very well for me, but of course this is just gonna depend on your personal preference. You then need to determine what your frequency is going to be. Do you want to do this every single time you get paid? So let's call it bi-weekly, twice a month, or do you want to do this monthly? I like to do this monthly for two reasons. One, sitting down once a month to do my budget is so much easier than waiting kind of for a payday. I always do it at the beginning of the month. It's my ritual. I know what I'm doing. It's my habit. It's just much simpler for me. And really, I only need to worry about sitting down concretely once a month, and then I do a mid-month check-in. It's very simple, very easy to stick to. The second reason I like to do this monthly is because it forces me to be one month ahead. It forces me to have my entire cash budget along with my rent, along with whatever payments are due at the beginning of the month in advance. So getting one month ahead has steered me away from that living paycheck to paycheck feeling, which has given me a lot of confidence. I will link some videos down below about how to get one month ahead. It's basically having one whole month of expenses already saved up in your account, ready to be used, and then throughout the month you fill it back up. I'll link some videos about that down below, as well as one that I made about my journey to getting one month ahead life-changing, but if that's not an option for you or you prefer to just work with your paychecks, you could do this twice a month, you could do this weekly, and you'll just divide that monthly budget that you just created by two or by four or by whatever frequency you are going to do this. It all sounds complicated, you guys, but trust me, it's so simple. Once you work out the kinks in like the first two, three months, I would say after three months of doing this, I was like flying. It is like second nature to me, so fun and simple. So just stick with it. And I promise you guys, it's gonna feel better and better as you go. And I really hope that I'm not overwhelming you with info. Trust me, like getting yourself set up, it's gonna take less than an hour. Anyways, we are going to move down to my table for step three, which is my favorite part. So step three is the really fun part, which is where you get to go to the ATM, take out your cash and actually stuff the cash envelopes. So for today's video, I made a sample budget for you guys that is very, very similar to the budget that I started out with. And I did the like wishful thinking method where I was like, what do I kind of want to spend in each of these categories? So chances are this is not going to be the right budget for you, but at least you're gonna see kind of my thinking behind creating a budget and also how I break it down and then stuff it into the cash envelopes. And you guys will see it is so much fun and so satisfying. So for this sample budget, we are going to be working with $1,000. And like I explained before, because I do my budget on a monthly basis, I will take out the full $1,000 right at the beginning of the month and then stuff my cash envelopes accordingly. The other thing I love about this method is that holding whatever your budget is, whether it's $500, $600, $700, $1,000, more than $1,000, it is such a cool feeling to hold this much money in your hand. And if you're someone like me who struggles with feelings of lack, not having enough, just like general financial anxiety, you cannot feel broke when you hold this much money in your hands. You just can't, it doesn't work. So I really love that for the kind of just like more spiritual touchy feely element of money, which like it or not is super, super important. Anyways, let's build this budget. So I always like to start with groceries because to me, it's just like the staple pillar category of my budget. For this sample budget, I'm going to do $400 for groceries. So two, four, six, eight, 100, two, four, six, eight, 200, two, four, six, eight, 300, and two, four, six, eight, 400. Oh my gosh. Look what someone did to one of my bills. <gasps> I didn't notice when I took these out. Oh my gosh, that is so funny. And I'm pretty sure that's illegal. So we take out the groceries envelope and we are going to put this $400 into the envelope.
and it is so satisfying once the envelope is stuffed. Oh, it just feels so good. The next category is going to be dining out. This is one that I like to think of on a weekly basis. So for this sample budget, I allocated $50 a week, which adds up to $200 a month. This is one where I find it's very easy to go over. So you really need to think like, okay, what are my dining out habits? Where do I usually go? How much does it cost me? Do I want to spend less than I currently do? And using cash for dining out is a really, really good way to get this category under control, especially if it's something you struggle with. So we're gonna do two, four, six, eight, 100, two, four, six, eight, 200. If you are like me and probably a lot of people out there and you have a kind of addiction to like Uber Eats or ordering food through an app because it's so simple. Using cash envelopes is really gonna help you break that habit because you can't order off the app and use cash, right? So it's gonna force you to think twice about ordering takeout, maybe go out and get it yourself, which in the end will save you money because those apps charge such high fees. So this is really one of my favorite categories. I'm someone who likes to keep coffee separate from my dining out. I feel like this could be true for many of us. Going out for coffee and going out for dinner or ordering takeout, to me, they're just really two separate experiences. So I like to have my own little budget for coffee and I allocated $10 a week. So that's $40 a month, 20, 40. Maybe if you are a student and you're someone who likes to study in cafes, you would want to bump this budget up. But that's what I love is that it's so personalizable. Personable. Customizable? Personalized. The next category in this sample budget is pets. I know so many of us have pets. We love our pets and pet care can get very expensive just budgeting for your pets. It's so easy to walk into a pet store, see all the cute toys and the treats and just want to spoil your dog, your cat, your bird, whatever you want to spoil them raw in. But it's also a good area to reel in our budget a little bit. So for this sample, I allocated $100 for the pet envelope. To me, personal care is for things like going to get my nails done, buying shampoo, buying razors, tampons, pads, whatever it may be. Basically stuff you would get from the pharmacy, body lotion, etc. And I like to have a separate budget for it. $60 a month is one that I found is pretty reasonable. So that's what I chose for this sample budget. I also like to have a separate category for the home. So this could be things like buying candles, buying decor. Maybe though, if you're a homeowner, you want to bump that budget up because you have to think about things like repairs and light bulbs. Whereas if you're a renter, you don't need to worry about those things. So for this sample budget, we are gonna go with $60 for the home. Now, a great thing you can do with your cash envelopes is if you don't use up all of the money in one category, the home is a great example. You can basically start a little savings account in cash for this category. So let's say a month goes by and I don't buy anything for the home or I only spend $20. Well, I can leave that $40 in here to then slowly but surely save up for a bigger purchase. Maybe I want to buy a new vacuum cleaner. Maybe I want to buy a new blender, a KitchenAid, whatever it may be. You can save up in cash using cash envelopes and it will happen so quickly and it's so satisfying. Also, if you have a goal like that in mind to let's say save up for a new vacuum, you're not going to want to buy those frivolous purchases because you're going to look at your envelope and you're gonna say to yourself, hmm, no, I really want that vacuum, so I wanna keep as much money in this envelope as I can to get to that vacuum quicker. I also think it's nice to have a little envelope for gifts. So this could be for things like friends and family's birthdays, just little acts of kindness you wanna do for your friends. For this sample budget, we're gonna do $40 for the month. And the last category is my absolute favorite, which is treat yourself. To me, this is basically my shopping envelope because I love to buy clothes. But for you, obviously you can put whatever you want in here, use it for whatever you want. It's totally up to you. And I'm going to do $100.
So here we have all of the envelopes. They are so satisfying. I find it just looks so pretty as well, having the money inside. There's something very aesthetic about it. And I mean, people always comment and say that the Canadian currency is so nice, but it looks really cool with American money. It looks cool with Euro whatever your currency is. This is my favorite part, which is actually clipping it into the folio. I just find it is so satisfying. So I'm going to use my leather folio to keep all of my envelopes in. And then it is just so satisfying being able to flip through your folio, see all of the categories, see your whole budget right here and hold it all in your hands. I just love it. Now, a question I often get asked is, do I feel uncomfortable or unsafe carrying my entire budget of $1,000 with me as I go about my day-to-day -day life? The honest answer is no. I like hold this very close to my heart and I'm always very careful with it. But if you worry about having your envelope stolen or if you're a little bit forgetful, you're worried about leaving it behind somewhere, I highly recommend having two folios, one to keep at home and one to carry with you. That way you can split up your budget. So let's say you know you're going to the grocery store and the pharmacy, you only need to carry those two envelopes with you, which basically just lowers your risk if you were to lose it or if it were to, God forbid, get stolen. Knock on wood, I've never had any issues while carrying my cash envelopes around with me. I would just kind of think about this like carrying your passport with you. You wanna keep it safe, keep it close to your heart, keep an eye on it and don't be forgetful and don't take it out. And if you're going out drinking, don't take your whole budget with you. On that same note, the other thing you can do is for those bigger categories like groceries, you could split it up into a weekly budget or into a bi-monthly budget. So what I used to do was actually split that $400 in half only carry 200 with me at the beginning of the month, then refill it in the middle of the month. I would just keep the extra $200 at home with me so it was safe, so I was carrying around less cash, so that is a good option as well. So you guys can see, once your budget is set, it is so quick and easy to do that cash stuffing. So every month, stuffing the cash envelopes should take you no more than 15 minutes at home, and you just get in the zone. I love to play music or have a YouTube video on in the background, and it's really become almost like a self-care activity for me. I absolutely love doing it. I really hope that you guys fall in love with it the same way that I did. Step four is to spend your money. Spend your money freely without any weight on your shoulders, without any guilt. Know that you have made a budget and you can stick to it with confidence. That being said, you're never going to be perfect and I really want you guys to remember progress over perfection. It's going to take a couple months to get used to this method. It's going to take some adjustment. You're going to need to adjust your categories. You're going to need to adjust the amounts in your categories but let it be fun. The other thing I want you guys to do while you're doing this method is to track your spending. You can do this on pen and paper. You could just have a little page in your journal, a monthly a uh, couple pages where you log all of your transactions and you tally up the totals per category. You could do this on an Excel spreadsheet or if you wanna be like me, I use a budget tracker so it just kind of automates things and makes it a little bit more fancy. I find it's really, really easy to use but I actually didn't get into using the budget tracker until a couple months months after getting used to the cash envelopes method. Before that, I was doing everything by hand because I guess I'm just old school like that. But find a way that works best for you to track your spending. I always keep all of my receipts whenever I go buy something. They give me my change, they give me my receipt. I stuff it back in the cash envelope. And then a couple times a week, I sit down at my computer and put all of my receipts into my budget tracker. And that way throughout the month, I know how much money I have left, what I'm spending in which categories. But when I got started, I wasn't using the digital tracker. I would just sit down and physically count out what was left in my cash envelopes, make sure it lined up with my receipts. And I had fun doing it that way as well. Then at the end of the month, I want you guys to sit down, look at your transactions, look at how well you stuck to your budget, look at the areas where you might've missed a little bit and reevaluate. Do not set yourself up for failure by setting too small of a budget then being angry with yourself if you don't stick to it. If you see that the budget you set for dining out is simply not working, increase your budget a little bit. Maybe there's an area where you're spending less and you want to give some of that money over into the dining out category. I find when I set a realistic budget rather than a very strict budget, I'm actually more likely to stick to it and to feel empowered. So throughout the month, I just have a lot more confidence with my spending and with my finances overall. So you guys, that is it for this video. I hope you loved it. I hope you try out this method and I hope you fall in love with it like I said. If 
you have any questions, leave them for me down below and I can answer them in the comments or film a part two if I see that there are a lot of the same questions popping up. I love talking about cash envelopes, so this is definitely not the end. Make sure you're subscribed for more budgeting content as well as lifestyle over here on my channel. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you so much to The Line for sponsoring this video and I will talk to you all next time. Bye.